Hi there, I'd like to quickly highlight some of the improvements we've made to our shared web or publish online uh, capabilities. So I have a presentation here and when you do share to web, um, you're going to see two new items here. One is called transitions that allows uh, page transitions for any type of document. Um, so this happens to be presentation um, transitions uh, for letter type documents like proposals, flyers, product sheets. You'll see additional um, type of transitions. Um, you'll also have the ability to change the direction on those transitions when appropriate and also adjust the speed accordingly as you need. A second area would be the viewer. Um, three different options to show page thumbnails at the bottom as you can see here. You can turn that on and off. Uh, enable the content to be downloaded uh, through PDF for your users or uh, to show um, uh, Zara branding or not. Every time you make a change, um, for example, you just quickly hit update and um, it will republish uh, the document. As you know, when a document is published online, um, Zara generates a unique URL that does not change. So we can just quickly um, click on this link and you'll see uh, a beautiful presentation with the thumbnails and full screen and download. Uh, if I go into full screen, I can easily just click and that's a transition. If we want to change the transition, all we have to do is go here and let's go to a zoom in fade and uh, we'll make it a little bit slower and just click update. And the system does its thing, publishes it uh, again. URL does not change, so we could click on this URL or we could just go back here and refresh. Um, and you'll see that now we have uh, the new transition that we've created. Um, pretty slick. Now, one of the things that is a great benefit to share the web is, uh-oh, I see an issue here. Um, and this is great for your content or maybe you're working with a client. So we can just go, um, we'll click out of here. Let's go to that page. Let's quickly um, adjust this. Let's maybe reduce the font down to nine. Oh, that maybe is too much. Let's go to 12. No problem. So they fit. And um, we'll do this one as well to make it look. 12 might be a little too small, but you understand the point, right, that we're trying to make and enter so we got our bullets done we go back to share the web real quickly and we will update um, the content so share the web is fantastic again it's not just the transition the viewer that we've added to make your documents more dynamic but um, we'll just quickly refresh and the next time a user comes to see your content, they'll see the improve. So it's no dealing with uh, anybody else, uh, uh, a designer or a uh, website builder in order to do this. And I'll show you a, a real world example of how we use this shared web technology published online uh, at Zara. So this is our Zara.com website. And this is one of our case studies of Proximate, who was uh, a startup company that used Zara from day one to build all their marketing uh, collateral, their investor pitch to their product sheets and brochures. And um, good news, they were successfully acquired. We'd like to attribute that to Zara. <laughs> um, but what we've done is created a link here to download that case study. You see it online and download it. And as you'll see here, it is actually a shared web document. Um, using the same capabilities that um, I just demonstrated for you and um, you can come here and download. So it's a great application and any of the changes that we might need to make on this document, um, someone can go make those in Zara Cloud and republish and nothing needs to be done on our website. The document is automatically updated. Thanks a lot. Um, I hope you uh, take advantage of these uh, new capabilities. Um, and it's really important that you uh, communicate and separate your content from others in the market and transitions and allowing them to download is one way to do it. Thanks and um, have a good day. Happy creating with Zara.